This is the new ZenBook S14 from our sponsor Asus and inside this has the new Lunar Lake chip. Now Intel made a lot of bold claims and I have to say that we were very surprised testing this thing out and it exceeded our expectations. Now we have covered a bunch of different laptops. Asus has been doing a killer job and the S14 has a very similar design compared to to the other S laptops that we covered. So on the outside, you have this modern, sleek look. This is Ser aluminum, very little fingerprints, really durable, it looks nice. And I am just surprised at how much you get for the money. So I wanna focus on Lunar Lake, but I do wanna cover a few of the things about this laptop. Now, if you get a one terabyte spec, you get 32 gigs of RAM, this Ultra 7 Gen 2 Intel Pro, processor, which performs really well. We have Windows Hello, that's gonna log you in automatically. And we have this trackpad, like I've showed off before, I have the sticker on here, where you have shortcuts, you have media controls, you have volume right over here, you have brightness, so you can easily and quickly raise it. You can actually bring up some shortcuts from that right hand corner. This is nice. The keyboard feels fantastic, just like on the other Asus S line. This is an all metal chassis, and the crazy thing is, this competes as far as performance to the 14 inch M3 MacBook Pro, we've covered this a lot, but the price tag is lower, you get a lot more RAM, and at the same time, this thing weighs 2.65 pounds. Yes, lighter than a MacBook Air, with better performance, being very, very quiet. I'll talk about that in just a bit. And you get a bunch of ports as well. So closing it off on the left-hand side here, we have a HDMI 2.1, two Thunderbolt ports. So this is Intel, it runs really fast for external storage. We have your headphone. And on the right hand side, we have a full size USB 10 gigabit per second. This port barely fits on here because of how thin this laptop is. I mean, just comparing it to the 14 inch MacBook Pro, this thing is incredibly thin. It also has dual fans inside of it. It has an ultra slim vapor chamber. It also has a graphite sheet with bi layers. So the cooling system is really impressive. And opening this back up, taking a look at this grill here, we have 2,715 CNC'd machine cooling vents. And it's not just for looks, it actually improves the cooling. So inside this ultra thin, crazy lightweight package, we have 28 watts of TDP cooling, while being in the form factor of a 15 watt system, being thinner and lighter than a MacBook Air, but also having quite a bit more performance and a larger screen. Now, speaking of this display, it is a touchscreen and it's a 14 inch OLED 3K display, very high resolution. And just like on the other Asus laptops I covered, you have 100% DCI-P3 color coverage. So excellent colors. We have 500 nits of brightness, supports Dolby Vision, supports HDR. It's also a 120 Hertz panel as well. And here in the My Asus app, I talked about really enjoying this application, makes it really easy to see everything. I have my home, I have my CPU, temperatures, my load, tons of information. And then you have your settings, you can quickly um, swap stuff out. So right here, I'm in the full speed fan noise, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But in the audio visual, you have all your audio settings, AI noise reduction, you have your display settings as well. So if you're gonna use this for professional um, color grading, you have all those adjustments. It's a great easy to use application. Of course, this also has Copilot with that Copilot button. You can ask it to find files, ask questions. There's a lot that we already showed off. You have the Story Cube where you can import all your images, videos. It'll automatically organize it, search with AI, export and trim clips. I covered that before in detail, but all of that's built in. So you have a good software experience. You also have all the webcam features that we talked about previously. Um, uh, so just like the other S series laptops, you got a lot in this package. 
We have a four speaker audio system. So I'm really impressed at what Asus has been doing, especially in this last year. You're getting so much for your money. But this is where I wanna start talking about Lunar Lake and the new processor that is in here. Attached to that processor, we have Wi-Fi 7, which is amazing, I love it. I have Asus Wi-Fi 7 at my house. We also have a very powerful video engine. So you guys saw that port up there. You can actually support 8K 60 Hertz HDR or dual 4K external monitors as well. But what is the most impressive about Lunar Lake is what they've managed to do compared to their previous Intel processors. Just using this machine, it is so snappy, setting it up, unzipping files, it is flying like what I would get on an ARM laptop. And I didn't think that that would be possible. And with that, typically setting it up, installing fans with the Intel laptops would ramp up. I would just hear it kick up. But here, even in the high performance setting, and even with the MyAsus running at the highest fans to allow it, it doesn't need to. The only times I heard the fans was exporting video, which I'll talk about, that was impressive, or really pushing a full on benchmark. And even then it is still quiet with their cooling system. Now this new Lunar Lake chip runs on a three nanometer design, just like the M3s that we've covered a lot. And with it, it has eight cores, so they went down in cores compared to previously, but we have four performance cores and four efficiency cores, and that does a lot for battery life. Now, if you look at the X Elite, which is in some of the Asus laptops, that's a great chip as well, but that has a lot of performance cores, where this is focused on efficiency, and even though it is an x86 chip, it actually was doing better than the recent AMD chips that we covered and the X Elite, and it did get beat out by this 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M3. Of course, this is the bigger, heavier one, uh, three and a half pounds with the large battery. Uh, and I have to say, this has that 120 Hertz OLED display. There's gonna be a lot of Lunar Lake different laptops that are gonna be even better in terms of battery. But in terms of fan noise and battery life, I did not think we're gonna get an Intel chip that is this good. It has a new NPU that has 48 tops of AI performance. So that is great. And the total tops is 120 for this system. Like I mentioned, everything is quick and responsive. And another surprise was the standby time. Gone are the days that you close your laptop, you don't plug it in, you come back to it later and it is dead. We actually close the lid on this thing with 85% and then four days later, open it up, it was at 56%. Everything turned on super quickly, so it was still connected and running. That means if it's fully charged, you will have about two weeks. They can just close it, leave it, open it, and it's still not dead. That is great for a laptop. Now getting into performance, like I mentioned, this is the Core Ultra 7, the second generation. There's also the Ultra 9. So there is a more powerful version that you can get. So keep that in mind when I talk about this performance. The SSD read speed is really fast. A nice boost compared to uh, the previous generation of laptops beating out Apple's M3. And then looking at single core, it is right there in line with the X Elite with the AMDs, of course, the M3 does perform a little bit better in single core. And then looking at multi-core, this is where you notice that it is a little bit lower compared to the other competition, at least in these benchmarks. Now the M3 is very close. The X Elite is quite a bit higher. Um, but once we get into a couple of these tests, you'll see what happens. The same thing goes for Cinebench, where this is at full load. The performance is good. It beats out the older Intel, but also keep in mind, we are down to eight cores now compared to the previous generation and only four are performance cores here uh, compared to say the X Elite, which has all performance cores. Now looking at speedometer 3.0 for web browsing performance, it actually beats out the competition, including my M3 MacBook Pro, which actually scored a little bit lower than maybe the 16 gig versions, because that costs 1600 for eight gigs of RAM. Um, so right there, you could see compared to just Geekbench, it is excelling. And then same thing with Figma, 
It actually beat out the X Elite. It beat out the MacBook, surprisingly. So real world snappiness and usability for web applications is excellent. Of course, it you know is a huge leap from the previous Intel chips. And then when we start getting into graphics performance for integrated graphics, this is where Lunar Lake is also excelling at. Looking at Wildlife Extreme, the performance is really good good. Now the M3 does beat it out a little bit compared to the Ultra 7 and Wildlife Extreme that actually is very well optimized for ARM. When we look at the new Steel Nomad Lite, which is more real world for today, the Lunar Lake wins. It beats out AMD, it beats out the X Elite, it's a good leap over the previous Intel. And the crazy thing is that this is an x86 processor. It's under 30 watts, getting great graphics performance and it can run all of your games because it's not an ARM chip or it's not a Mac device, which just makes it a lot more impressive. Now, the last thing that I wanted to make sure I tested was video editing because the um, X Elite chip, that is where it starts to kind of fall apart or get weak, where you have heavy graphics tasks, compute tasks like that, even though DaVinci Resolve is optimized, it takes four minutes and 11 seconds, whereas this thing did it in two minutes flat. Yes, more than twice as fast. It was snappy opening up DaVinci Resolve, playing through, it does great. So the compute graphics performance works really, really well. Now, the M3 uh, chip in the MacBook Pro with Final Cut, which is what we use on a Mac, that actually is slower, two minutes 11. But just seeing how far Intel has come with this new Lunar Lake chip as far as good CPU performance, excellent battery life, low noise, good graphics performance, um, all in this package for a really good price tag. That is why our expectations were exceeded and um, the claims that were put out there, you know, they were exactly accurate. So to get great battery life in a full package, 2024 is a great year for computers. Lots of great choices and um, this, this is a nice package. So you guys let me know what you think. I know you guys like the previous um, Asus uh, Zenbook laptops, and this one is just another excellent option at that 14 inch size with an x86 processor. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of the great videos right over there. This is Max, and I'll see you in the next one.